Hi there, Dean here with ProTech Marketing. Today we'll be reviewing the new Shure MXA 710 Linear Array Microphone. Built on the legacy of Shure's landmark MXA 910 Ceiling Array Mic, the smaller MXA 710 fills the perfect niche for smaller conference and meeting rooms or when budget comes into play. The MXA 710 is available in two foot and four foot lengths and in three colors. It can be wall mounted vertically or horizontally around a display using the included hardware, or it can be ceiling mounted or even on or in the conference table. It has durable coverage like its big brother, the MXA 910, with either four or eight lobes. And Shure's patent pending autofocus technology fine tunes the audio pickup, which is perfect for your fidgety clients who shift in their seats. Onboard Intellimix processing with AEC eliminates the need for an independent DSP device when placed in smaller rooms. The audio signal on the MXA 710 is provided by Dante Digital Audio and AES67 and has AES256 encryption for security. Additionally, the MXA 710 is ready to roll with leading third-party software Kodak solutions including Zoom, Microsoft Teams, Cisco, Skype for Business, and much more. Programming on the MXA 710 is easily achieved using Shure's free designer software, the same software used with Shure's Microflex Wireless, MXA 910, MXA 310, and the P300 and Anti USB Matrix Mic processors, as well as Shure's new Intellimix Room processing software. For you system designers and programmers, let's take a test drive and see just how easy the MXA 710 is to program and to deploy. Launch Sure Designer Software. With my projects highlighted on the left hand side, select New Project and give it a name. If there are devices on your network that have not previously been initialized, there will be a warning prompt. Click Initialize the devices to configure. Initializing the device puts it in a ready state for configuration. Click Initialize. Once all devices have been initialized, select New Location from the upper left and give the location a name. If you're connected to a network that contains Sure devices, you will automatically be put into live mode. Your initialized devices will be located in the online devices section on the left hand side. Simply click and drag your devices into the workplace. When adding an MXA 710, a prompt will appear to choose the method in which your device is installed. For our room, we're going to choose ceiling. You can choose to manually route your devices or select optimize to let designer do the work for you. Choosing Optimize automatically creates the audio routes between your devices, will enable mute synchronization, and adjust the audio settings of your devices based on industry best practices. Once the room is optimized, select Go to Coverage. The coverage map allows you to import an image of your conference room by selecting Add Image and choosing the appropriate image file. Simply scale your image by drawing a reference line and entering the reference size in feet. Click the pencil icon in the upper right of your image to adjust your workspace. After your adjustments are made, you can now place your MXA 710 into the workplace. To rotate your device, click and drag the white dot or drop down the position tab located in the device properties section and enter the appropriate value in the rotation section. To verify that the orientation of your MXA 710 is correct, click Identify, which will flash one of the LED lights on the MXA 710. Once your orientation has been verified, it's time to start adjusting your lobes. The default lobe settings of the MXA 710 are designed and tested to fit most common applications, but you can adjust the lobe position and width as needed. The solid line in each lobe shows where the pickup is the strongest. The lobe's edge is minus 6 dB down from the solid line. If you need to make any adjustments to the lobes, click and drag the center line. To change the width, select the lobe width drop down from the right hand side. If further adjustments are needed, select your MXA 710 and click configure. This will bring you to the MXA 710's configuration page, which allows you to adjust the gain of the individual lobes as well as make adjustments to the MXA 710's Intellimix settings.